In this demo, we will show how to enable communication between a Siemens I.O. device using Profibus and a Rockwell ControlLogix PLC using Ethernet IP. To do this, we will use the Anybus X Gateway Profibus Master from HMS. In my setup, I have a Rockwell ControlLogix L71 PLC and I want to communicate with a Siemens ET200S I.O. device. The X Gateway acts as a translator between the two devices. So on the Ethernet IP side, the Rockwell PLC is the master, also called scanner. The slave or adapter on this side is the X gateway. On the Profibus side, the X gateway is the master, controlling the slaves, an ET200S I.O. device in this case. The first thing I need to do is to start the Profibus master configuration tool. For the Anibus X gateway, I'm using the Anibus net tool for Profibus to set up my I.O. device. The net tool is included in the product package from HMS. I start a new configuration and select my Anibus X Gateway Profibus Master, which I drag into my configuration. I can see that it lands on address 1, which is all good for me. I then need to import the GSD file for my I.O. module, which I've previously downloaded from the device manufacturer, Siemens in this case. Like all good TV chefs, I've prepared this earlier and already installed the GSD file so I can click my way into Profibus DP, I.O. and Siemens and find my I.O. device here. I drag this into my configuration and see that it lands on address 3. In my ET200S I.O. slave I have four I.O. modules and I now need to add these to my configuration. So I need to find these four in this humongous list of I.O. modules. I've written down the numbers of my four modules so I need to find them in the list and drag them into the configuration. The first module is a power module, not an I.O., so this does not have an input or output address. The second module is this one. This lands on input address 0, meaning that it will be the first byte in the Rockwell PLC. I have two of these, so I'll drag another one into the configuration. Finally, my last module is this one. This has output address 0 and will consequently be the first byte in the OUT area of the Rockwell PLC. We're now finished with the Profibus Master configuration and ready to download the configuration to the NBUS X Gateway. I can either connect to the X Gateway using the Ethernet parallel ports or using the serial port. I want to download my configuration via Ethernet, so I first need to set up the IP address of the gateway. To do this, I'm using HMS's Anibus IP config tool. I can see that the Anibus X gateway shows up here in my list of network devices. I double click on it and state the IP address I want to use 10.10.55.150 in this case, since I know that this address is available on the network. I set the subnet mask to be the standard 255.255.255.0 and click Set. OK, we now see that it shows up with the correct IP address, so I can now click Exit. Alright, the Profibus setup is done and I have an IP address for the X Gateway. I now need to select how I want to download my configuration to the X Gateway. To select this, I go to the Online tab and choose Driver Selection. Here I can choose between Parallel or Serial. We're using Parallel in this case since I want to use the Ethernet interfaces of the X Gateway. So here we'll click Create and select the Ethernet Transport Provider. I name this transport path X Gateway Profibus Master. I can see that the gateway has been found and click OK and OK again. So now I just need to download the Profibus configuration to the X Gateway. Do you want to save this project? Well, I'll skip this for now. I can see that the configuration is now being downloaded to the X Gateway. To test this, I click the Online button and I can see that we get a green box around the Profibus ET200S. This is a good sign, then I know that this is working before leaving the Profibus Master for now. OK, back to Offline and to be on the sure side, I save my configuration on my computer. 
So I can now exit and go over to the Anybus X Gateway Configuration Manager tool, where I can make general settings for the X Gateway, such as changing I.O. sizes, etc. The Configuration Manager is included in the product package from HMS. In our example, I actually don't have to use the Configuration Manager at all, since the in and out data from the Profibus side does not exceed the 20 bytes, which is standard for the gateway. I can just connect the gateway to the PLC and I.O. device, and it will start translating. But just to show you the tool, I'll go to the online menu and select connection. I click config, select my gateway and click OK. I can click the connect button and upload my configuration to the configuration manager tool. Now, a word about input and output data sizes for the master and slave, since this can be a bit confusing. As mentioned, the standard I.O. size for an Anybus X gateway that handles slave-to-slave -slave communication is 20 bytes going in and out. In our example, we have a Profibus master in the X gateway. This means that the gateway will get the I.O. size according to what we set up earlier in the net tool configuration. In this case, 2 bytes in and 1 byte out. So I don't need to worry about that at all. On the Ethernet IP side of the gateway, I just need to be sure that the I.O. size is equal or greater than what's coming from the Profibus side. Two bytes in and one byte out in this case. If I go to the Ethernet IP menu, I can see that the gateway has the standard 20 bytes in and out. This means that we're on the safe side here, as the value is greater than what's coming from the Profibus side. So no changes are needed for the X gateway. We can now go over to the Rockwell Logics Designer to set up the last part, the connection to the Rockwell PLC, which uses Ethernet IP. I have already downloaded the EDS file for the X Gateway from Anybus.com and imported it into Control Logics. I want to add the X Gateway under Ethernet, so I click Ethernet and select New Module. I find HMS Industrial Networks in the vendor list and I can see that the X Gateway now shows up. I click Create and name it Anybus X Gateway. I also need to state the same IP address as we said before, 10.10.55.150. Finally, I also need to set the input and output data to 20, just as in the gateway. So I click Change here within Module Definition and set the input and output data size to 20. I can now click OK and Close and then download the configuration to the PLC. Alright, we now have a connection between the Ethernet IP-based PLC and the Profibus I.O. slave device. I can now see the Anybus X gateway in my controller tags. Both the data coming in and going out. To see that this is working, I will turn on a switch that's connected to my Siemens ET200S slave device. So if I turn this on, I can see that we get a 1 here on my PLC input area. And vice versa, if I change this 0 to a 1 in my PLC output area, I will light up this LED on the I.O. device. So in less than 10 minutes we have established communication between an Ethernet IP-based PLC and a Profibus I.O. device.